Hi guys, and um, welcome back to the channel. And unless you've been on the rock for the last month, yes, the Italians are here, and they have some very nice vehicles, including this, the R3 T20, the Rantier, ranked to battle rating 3.3. In fact, it's so bloody good, it's a little bit too good. And in my opinion, it should be moved. Now, not because of the fact it's getting some kills, and uh, it's good fun, and it's modern as well. It's Cold War era, not World War II. It's because of that bloody great cannon on top look. It is a bit too good. Check this out, is my gameplay. Here's a end of a match look. I've got two air kills already, so just note that. And then uh, watch this. IL2 coming in. First kill, uh, 11.52 look. Right, okay. Second kill, boom. As quick as that. Now let's get 600 rounds. 20 millimeter cannon. Great traverse, it's got a stabiliser on it, it's a fast vehicle, 115 kilometres now, top speed. Uh, this port holes, King shouldn't have been here, but then what? But it's only about around 3.3, so this means if you've got tanks, or well, you've got planes, and you decide you're going to take tanks out, you can see this on your very first day of playing out tanks, and it's no fun. And it's not like it's a fair fight either. Fair enough if you're a bit of a quicker plane, then you can might get a bit more lead, but it's easy to get you. Because that rate of fire, you'll walk it in, no problem. And fourth kill, LA5F. Yeah, he's toast, isn't he? Gonna die? There you go. Fifth kill. Ace match. Less than a minute. Not even half my rounds used either. Now, I'm not the greatest player in the world, but this is pretty much easy mode, to be fair. And I think it's a little bit OP for its battle rank at 3.3. Leave it rank 2 if you want, but move it up to like 5.7 or 6.3. And then it'll be a bit more fairer, I do believe. This thing is going to break process support for gameplay in uh, Ground Forces, which I love. It is good fun. I know people don't like it because they get killed by bombs, but yeah. This thing's going to wreck it though, especially for the newer players. Older players. Yeah, it's no fun. I've been shot down plenty of times with this thing. And, uh, uh, yeah. It's instant vaporisation. So, guys, let me know what you think down below. I must admit, your opinion does count as well, but I do think this needs moving. I mean, it's got a stabiliser, for God's sakes. You can do this, you shoot with the move of this thing. Well, from the side, you can't so much because you'll just rolls them over. But yeah, 115 kilometers now, so you can run around the airfield, you can relocate, you can do what you want in it. It's a, a top of tier vehicle. It's a more, yeah, higher tier vehicle, I think. Not the fact it's hard to use, but the fact that it's just easy to get the kills with it, especially the air kills. You can take up light tanks, scout tanks, it'll kill them. Other AAs, it don't stand a chance against it because the high rate of fire just rips your head off. There's no armor on this thing. You can kill it with a machine gun, but and that's not the point, you've got to get to it first and get for that shield of fire it's just a nightmare sometimes so guys, a bit of a quick video let me know what you think, like I say, leave a comment leave a like, perhaps subscribe thank you so much for watching and yes, I will see you in the next one